This is Scott, the Fix-It Guy. Today we have a Bosch dishwasher, or Bosch washing machine with the F03 error, and this is caused by the dryer not being able to get rid of the drain water. So this video will show us how to fix it. Right now I'm testing the system by pouring some water right into the sump. This is the area underneath where the filter is. And when I turn it on, I'm checking this drain hose to see if it's able to pump out the water. So it is pumping out the water and this tells me that the water line, the drain line is clear and the pump is working. So the F03 may be being caused by something else because it appears that it's able to pump out the water. Usually the water will pump out a little bit faster, but um, I think the pump is clear. Sometimes you can blow in from the outside uh, not while it's running, but after it runs, and you should be able to hear a bubble sound in the sump. And this means that the line is clear and there's nothing obstructing it. If you blow through there and you don't hear anything, or you feel like it's obstructed, then you have to figure out where uh, the clog is. In this case, blowing through it, I could hear the bubbles, so I knew that there was no clog and the F03 was being caused by something else. So now I'm just reaching in <clears throat> and feeling into the sump area to see if there's any obstruction, but it feels clear. And I have it on and I'm just letting it drain out more of the water. So if the drain is working and it is getting rid of the water, the other thing that can cause the F03 would be a clog filter that um, resides underneath the door. and the Bosch uh, filters have a very fine mesh and they're a little bit harder to clean. So the best way to clean it is to put it under really hot water and add some soap and then you can even use an old toothbrush to scour it and then rinse out all the water. Right here I'm blowing through that tube making sure I, I can hear the uh, bubbling sound, which I can, so I know that that drain line is clear. But after you wash the filter really well, you want to dry it, put it back in. And then we also want to clean the condensation filter. That's the large one that resides in the lower left-hand area of the machine near the drain. And this one you want to run under hot water and try to uh, clean out any lint that might have built up. You never want to use these bounce uh, dryer sheets because they tend to create a waxy surface on these filters and then water, um, not water but air, can't pass through it readily and this will cause that F03 error. It also cause your dryer just to stop working because it'll overheat. So I'm using hot water, I've put some hand soap on the filter and I'm gonna just use agitation with my fingers. You could use an old toothbrush but you basically want to get this to be super clean and if you have any kind of a gray color left, you want to keep cleaning it until it's basically like a white stocking, very fine mesh and super bright. So I'm going to use hot water. And this is to kind of melt and get rid of the um, bounce product, which is a waxy substance, and it clogs the filter. So I'm doing that on both sides. I'm going to open the filter, do it on the, on the inside. And then once it's been very clean and rinsed, I'll dry it off, I'll reinstall it, and then I'll test the machine to see if the F03 is gone. But in this particular machine, I think the error was caused by this filter being dirty. Another thing you want to clean and check on the inside of the washing machine are the two metal strips that are called the moisture sensors, because they also get the waxy coating from the bounce strips. And you want to clean those with alcohol or with agitation, like with a wire brush, to get them clean. So this is the filter, the condensation filter. Just going to clean it by running hot water down through the top and through the sides. I'm going to put that back in. I want to make sure the handle's on the bottom when you put it back in. Push it all the way in tight. And then there's the other piece goes in on top of that with the blue handles out towards you. Once you get it in, you're going to turn those handles to where they lock in. 
close that and then you can take it for a test. So I put some uh, towels in the washing machine. I got them wet. I spun them out so now they're damp. I'm going to put them in the dryer and I'm going to set it for ex the extreme heat or the highest setting and see how it does. Previously this machine would um, have an error of F03 after about five minutes. Doing this test, I ran it up to 25 minutes and it had no error and it seemed to work correctly. It was getting hot and it was getting rid of the water from the sump. So by cleaning all the filters, that did the trick. And very rarely would you have to replace things like the drain pump. But please don't use these dryer sheets because they really mess up these dryers, all dryers, but especially these Bosch dryers. We do recommend using things like, uh, they look like tennis balls that you throw in they, that grab onto the static. So I'm noticing that it's doing a good job. It's filling with more water. The towels are getting dry and we're not getting the air. So if we had to go backwards and figure out what happened for the F03, I would say it was the balance sheets clogged up the filters. I'm putting now the drain tube back into the drain in the wall and I'm going to go ahead and finish up the cycle. Just putting everything back together. But this machine is fixed and a little maintenance. These Bosch condensation dryers actually do a really good job. You just got to make sure that you keep the filters really clean and keep the moisture sensor clean and avoid using those dryer sheets. So I hope this has been helpful to you and gets your machine going again. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe when you get a chance.